Hey, what's up there, dear soul first? Today I'm going to show you how you can find and test the bad fuel injector. So over there you have a misfire and trying to see if the fuel injector is the problem or maybe you have a check engine light and the code is for a open circuit or a bad fuel injector. There are two ways that a duty sulfur can test the fuel injector. And the first method is basically a sound test. As your fuel injector becomes activated and then deactivated by the pulse signal from your ECU, if it's working properly, the needle or the pintle that's inside this fuel injector, as it moves up and down, it creates a ticking sound. So pretty much all you have to do is just figure out a way to check for the ticking sound that should be coming from a good working fuel injector uh, with the car on and the engine running. Now probably the best tool for the job would be a mechanic stethoscope like I got here and you can get this at Harbor Freight for about six or seven bucks. Uh, these are especially useful if you're trying to uh, check fuel injectors that are in a hard to reach place. Basically you just have to put this on, turn on the engine and then get this end on the base of the fuel injector and then listen for that ticking sound. Now if you don't want to go out and buy a stethoscope, you can also just use a long screwdriver. And you basically use this in a similar fashion to the stethoscope. With the engine running, you get this end of it on the fuel injector itself. And then you just put the other end to your ear. And then listen for the ticking sound and you will hear it. This will work. In fact, I'm going to turn on the engine and uh, put this in on the mic that's on this camera. And hopefully you guys can hear it for yourself. Alright, so here's one end of it on the fuel injector. And the other end on the mic on this camera. Alright, so hopefully you guys were able to hear the ticking, but uh, if you weren't, you're basically looking for a consistent ticking sound. And you not only want to check the injector that you suspect is bad, but also all the other injectors. And just compare the frequency and the loudness of the ticking between all the injectors. And uh, you don't, you know, loudness is also important because you don't want one injector to be super loud compared to the other ones because the loud injector could be a sign of a bad injector or an injector that's uh, on its way out. And the second method for testing your fuel injector is going to be using a multimeter to do a resistance test. And again you can do this with any basic multimeter and these basic multimeters you can get them for as little as six bucks at Harbor Freight. So what you want to do is to put your settings to ohms and we're going to choose 200 since our readings are going to be way less than uh, 200. So next you want to look into your repair manual and look up the spec for resistance for your fuel injectors. But uh, generally speaking, you're, uh, depending on the type of fuel injector you have, you either, you're re you're, the resistance is going to be either between 2 to 6 or 12 to 16 ohms uh, for each injector. Also something else you can do is uh, just check all of your, your uh, injectors and just uh, look for the odd one out. Like if the, all of them have about 13 ohms of resistance and one has about like 45 or no resistance at all, then you've probably found your problem. Now, I don't know the spec for these injectors, but uh, we'll do a bunch of them and then compare them. So here on this first one, we got 15.3. Uh, we got 15.3 on this one too. Okay. Also 15 point, well, 15.2. 15.2 on this one as well. All right, so as you saw, all of them have pretty much the same resistance, so I would say all these injectors would pass the resistance test. Alright, so those are two tests that a do yourself software at home can perform to see whether they have a bad fuel injector or not. But before you condemn a fuel injector and try to replace it, uh, especially if it maybe failed the, the ticking sound test but passed the resistance test, you want to make sure that that injector is actually receiving a pulse signal from your ECU to be activated. Because if it's not receiving voltage or the pulse signal, it's just not going to be activated and it's not going to make the ticking sound. And the way you do this is you want to remove the connector that's for your uh, fuel injector. And then what you'll need is a Noid Light test kit. And you can get these kits at a Harbor Freight for about 15, 20 bucks. And they come you know, in a box with a bunch of different ones for all different makes and models. And then you attach these lights to the <clears throat> connector that's for your uh, fuel injector. Then with the engine running or the car cranking, the signal that's being sent to the fuel injector will light up these light bulbs and they'll be they'll stop blinking. And that's how you know the, the connector, the wiring and the ECU are doing their job and the signal is getting to that connector for your injector. But since you're not hearing a ticking uh, sound from your injector, maybe it also failed the resistance test and then you verify that it's indeed the injector that's bad and not the connector or the, your ECU or the wiring. And with that said, gonna wrap this video up, but uh, you wanna make sure you stay tuned for the next video because in the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can clean a dirty fuel injector. And you're gonna be able to do this uh, pretty efficiently and cheaply. And I'll put a link to it right here on the side of the screen if you wanna check it out. I'll also put some uh, links to other videos I've made on the screen that you may find interesting. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.
and subscribe if you want to see more like it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.